Hi, my name is Jim, and today I'm going to show you how to do a drawing of a luchador, which is a colorful Mexican wrestler requested by my nephew Brandon. Um, so all you'll need is paper and pencil and an eraser, and then if anything you want to use, if you want to color this luchador in, uh, if you want to use markers or crayons, grab all that stuff and we'll get started. We're going to start off with a pencil drawing, really lightly. I'm going to draw with pencil where all the um, where I want all the shapes to be and everything for this luchador and then I'm going to erase any of the lines I don't want and trace it with marker. So you want to draw really lightly just to get, give yourself a layout of this guy. I'm going to start with the head and I want to have it towards the top of the paper here so I have enough room to draw the whole guy, the whole luchador. Start with a circle sort of like that and then I want to have his body, I'm going to go with about five heads high counting his head so I have one two, three, four, and five. So down to my thumb about here, I'm just going to put a line to give me an idea of where where this guy is going to, um, body is going to end, where his feet will be. Okay, and then I'm going to lightly draw a line in the middle, going straight down, so I get an idea of making this character symmetrical and have an idea of where the layout of this guy will be. Okay, then we're going to make him really wide. He's going to be a really wide wrestler, kind of big bodybuilder guy. So what I want to do is, maybe I could draw a little line going across here. Give myself an idea of how wide I want this guy to be. Maybe his shoulders will come out to here like that. This is These, are, these will be his shoulders, and then we'll get an idea of how the proportions go. So from here, let's do a rectangle. And let me figure out where I want to be, where I want the middle of his body to be. I'm trying to find the middle, maybe around right here. I'm going to draw a little circle there, or an oval. And towards that oval, I'm going to draw some lines, give myself a layout. So it's really wide, and it's going to taper in the middle here, and then get, get a little smaller. All right, so that's the middle, and then what I want to do is do a circle here for underneath this circle. This will, these will be his hips, okay? So that gives me a good idea that this is the chest and the hips, and then we're going to do some legs. So what I'm going to do is I could do a line down and a line that way to figure out where the legs are, line down, and that way to the ground. It gives me a really rough layout of how this guy's going to be. And I'm going to have the arms, I'm going to do a line here, and they're going to come over to his hip. And like that way. So it gives me a really good skeleton, good frame here of where this wrestler will be. Now we can start going in and fill it in a little bit more. So we have his head, and I'm going to do a neck. And he's going to have a wide neck connecting to this frame. So he can hold up this fit this frame here that he's got. Okay, so he's doing the neck, and I'm going to round out the shoulders. So now we're starting to see where the shoulders will be. And then on the inside, I'm going to round this, make these lines a little darker that I want to keep. And I'm going to have him come down to see where I did these hips. Have him come down here. That's my middle. But these were the hips, so I could figure out where the whole body fits in. And up here you could draw, this will be his chest, we're going to draw a line in the middle so we know that's where his chest will be. Okay, is it starting to come together for you? This will be, he's a champion luchador, so this is going to be his belt, the circle we did. So I'm going to draw some lines, come out the sides here for his belt. All right, and then here he's got stretchy pants. If you saw Nacho Libre, that's what he calls them. They're just really short shorts underneath the belt. And then we've got room here still for our legs. So I'm going to fill in the legs. I'm going to put, let's see, actually, before I do that part, I'm going to put the knees. I'm going to put like around two circles here and here. So I see where his knees will be. And then from the pants, 
bring it down. Start from the in, from the middle here. Bring it in over here and over here. So those are his knees. Now he's just standing on some sticks, but that's don't worry about that. We'll fill that in too. So let me at the bottom here. Let me give him some. A lot of luchadors wear boots. You can have him wearing shoes, whatever you want to have him wearing. But I'm going to put circles here or ovals where I want to have his feet go. Okay, and then I can connect it. So from his knee, I can bring this down here and then give him a calf. It kind of goes around and goes to the boot. And this could be jaw line here, and this could be a boot. Actually, I might move it down a little bit more. That's the beauty of pencil lines is that you could draw it a little, you could redraw it until you get it to right where you want it to be. So do a calf over here and the shin connects to this boot. And again, I'm going to draw that line. So those are, those will be the boots. We'll put, put more detail on that in a minute. So as long as you have both the legs, you got the pants, you got the middle of the chest area. Now we'll do his um, arms. And he's going to have his hands just on his hips. So that way you don't have to, sometimes hands are difficult to draw. So this will be a lot easier if you don't have to draw the hands. So I'm going to do the outside of his arm, line like that. Line like that, give it a curve. And then I'm going to do the inside. He's got these big muscles that go right in here, right off the side of the chest. And then they're going to come back to the body here. So this is an area where the arm comes, the body. If you need to bring this down, we could do a little elbow and then bring the arm over. A little elbow. It's coming right to his belt here. It's going to show off his belt. So I'm going to do some circles where his hands will be. Give myself an idea. They could overlap the belt or they could come right to it. Depends on how long the arm is. Let me fix this arm, make it a little thinner. Okay, so if I do a circle, those are his hands. And what we could do is def fix the hands a little, give them more definition. I'm going to flatten it towards the top. And you could give a couple knuckles. And then you could do a little, like a finger sticking out right here. So if I do that line and bring it up. He has a little finger. I'll show you with this other side how we do a finger. So I have the circle and I'm going to do knuckles kind of blending in with my lines right now. And then I'm going to do a little finger underneath here. Once I, once I do some erasing and then I do the marker part, you'll be able to see these better. But that makes it look more like a fist right there. Now we'll work on the, the head of the luchador, and they all they have luchadors have all kinds of different fun masks. Um, you could look it up and see any mask for inspiration that you might need, or just make up your own. Um, they usually have a big area for the eye holes, or they're or they're kind of colored around the eye. So I'm going to do these circles right here, and then inside, this will be where his eyes are. And you can. Give him some pupils. If you want to make him look a little angry, you could bring the eye, the, give him a little bit of anger lines there, some eyebrows showing a little bit. And then usually you don't see the nose, it depends on what kind of mask they have. I'm going to do an opening right here so the mask goes this way. And you're going to see the chin's coming out. So this will be the opening right under the nose. He's going to have a mouth, maybe he's going to do a little snarl. Something like that. Give him a lip and a chin. Okay, and then you can do a line down the middle if you want. Sometimes there's flames around the edge. Get creative with it. You have plenty of room for, for doing color and stuff in, with this luchador. You can also give him, I like that a lot of luchadors have capes. So right about here underneath where this the line is for the neck and the shoulders here, I'm gonna do a circle. And that's where the cape is going to connect for this luchador. And so what I could do is from the circle, bring it up to the shoulder like that. 
and up on this side, and then like this, like this is the cape going over his shoulders. Put some lines in there. And then we're gonna have the cape drag down behind him. So I'll have the cape, I'm trying to visualize where this cape is going. It's gonna go, maybe you'll see it through his arms here. And if I draw, bring this line down, imaginary line, maybe you'll see the cape here a little bit. And then come down here behind him. So I'm gonna bring this line down and you can have the cape go that way. If you wanna put some lines in the cape. Okay, you could give him some gloves. Um, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna define, he's not wearing a shirt, so define some muscles here. So bring this line over and this line over. Okay, and you do a little line here and here. Depends, it's all up to you if you have muscular you want this guy to be. He can have a little weight to him. All right, so just have fun with it. If you want to give him, like I said, some gloves, you could do some lines here. These are, he's wearing gloves. Just add any last details you want. If you want to do any lines in his shorts. Um, oh, and the boots. Let me do the boots I could do. I fix this a little bit here. And you could put laces or you could just put like a line like this to imply that there's a little front to the boot. You can do a line this way as well. Okay, so that's my start of my pencil drawing. And then what I'm going to do now is go through and add anything else you want. And then I'm going to use my marker and trace all the lines that I want to keep. And then that way I know... I can erase all the pencil lines and I'll be able to color this better. Okay, so carefully go over all the lines that you want to keep. And anything you don't want to keep, just ignore. Ignore those lines. And now you can make adjustments as you're going to. Put this line down the middle. I'm just going to have that come to an end like that. Get, get creative with it. Give him a chin. Now's when you make any decisions that as you're going along, if you decide you want to do a line a little bit better, you can do that. It's all up to you. Now is where you get those knuckles right. Do just a couple little lines there. Get that finger coming out. Just like that. Same thing on this side. Do some knuckles, finger, bring it over, just like that. You don't have to draw the line down the middle, you don't want, or you could just draw a little bit right there for his chest. Draw this line. Again, these hands could be in front of the body like that. Draw his belt. You can write a number one in there, or whatever you want to write in the middle there, or just keep it, keep it simple like that. Okay, let me retrace that. All right, and then if you need to, you want to make his legs a little more muscular. You don't have to draw the knees knobby. I do a little bump right there where the knee is. Bring this all the way down. And this side. And then we do the feet. Just keep them 
kind of like an oval like that. All right, and then figure out where the boots are there and there, and give them a spot where the laces will go. All right, and then don't forget to get the cape here. If you want to flare it out all you can, goes through over here. Like that. And I think I have all the lines in there that I want to keep. Looks pretty good. So I have a nice big eraser. Uh, if you just have your pencil eraser, that's fine as well. And I'm just going to carefully go in and erase these lines. And, and hopefully you did them nice and lightly. And so they'll erase for you pretty easily. And now we have, it's like our own coloring page. Now we could go over this and color it in. You could put a background. You could put him in a wrestling ring. You could draw another luchador that they're about to wrestle. Just have fun with it. Get nice and colorful. I hope you had a good time drawing this luchador today. Uh, please feel free to tag or share your artwork with me. I'd love to see all the colors and what you come up with with this luchador. Alright, uh, I hope you have a good day. Thank you.